Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to wrap objects with plastic. Let's get started. We have cleaner products in the scene. Add a cube object. Hit the Z key to switch to wireframe mode. Scale up the cube so that it contains all objects. Press Ctrl A to apply the scale transform. Tab key to switch to edit mode. Right-click and subdivide the cube 20 times. Switch back to Object Mode and Solid Mode. Go to the Modifier tab and add a Shrink Wrap modifier. Select the Cleaner as the target object. As you can see, the cube wraps the objects. Switch to Material Preview Mode. Increase the offset value so that it covers all objects. Switch back to Solid Mode. Right-click and make Shade Smooth. Add a Subdivision Surface Modifier to have a smoother face. Set the Viewport Level to 2. Add a Solidify Modifier. Set the Thickness Value to 0.002. Set the offset value to 1. All right. It's time to add materials. Hit the Z key to switch to render preview mode. Click the World Properties tab and add an environment texture for lighting. Go to the Render Properties tab and ensure that Cycles is active render engine. Set the maximum sample value to 32 for the viewport and 64 for render. Enable the denoise option for rendering. Scroll down to the film section and enable the transparent option. Go to the material properties tab and click the new button to add material. Set the roughness value to 0.1 to have a more reflective surface. Open up the transmission panel and set the weight value to 0.98. Set the alpha value to 0.4. All right. What if we switch to the EV render engine? In this case, we need to make some settings. First, enable the screen space reflections and refractions. Go to the Material Properties tab and scroll down to the Settings panel. Switch the Blend Mode from Opaque to Alpha Hashed. Enable the Ray Trace Refraction option. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.